नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सिक्सटीन इट इज अ टेक्सोनॉमी बेस्ड ऑन नंबर ऑफ शेड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ वेरियस ऑर्गेनिज्म इज कॉल्ड नंबर ऑफ शेड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सी हियर द स्टेटमेंट इज नंबर ऑफ शेड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक वेन इट टॉक अबाउट नंबर मेन्स इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट अ न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू सो इट शुड बी द आंसर दैट इज ऑप्शन बी न्यूमेरिकल टेक्सोनॉमी and we have just studied in previous question some of before some question that numerical taxonomy is also known named as phonetics and it is also known as addisonian symmetry so be remember this is also a new term addisonian symmetry next question number 17 as we go from species to kingdom as we grow from species to kingdom in a taxonomic hierarchy the number of common characteristic means as we go from species to kingdom so you know that there is a kingdom phylum division a uh, kingdom phylum or division class order family genus species so if we go from species to kingdom that is in the ascending order the common characteristic become so you know that common characteristic as we grow from species to kingdom it get decrease so with respect to decrease the given answer is option a now you should understand what is common character common character are the characters which are common between the organism at the same level suppose we are comparing a uh, two genus that is a canis and felis so canis and felis are the two genus which lie at the same level that is a genus now what are the common characteristic between these two so as we go down there is a chance of more common characteristic between them but there is a difficulty to identify between the common characteristic between the two different kingdom so the common characters get decrease as we go from species to kingdom next we move to the question number 18 question number 18 is also with respect to the systematics and it is asking that term systematic refers to so dear students you know that systematics is equal to taxonomy plus phylogeny now phylogeny means evolutionary relationship evolutionary history so if we go with the option option a that is identification and classification of plants and animals no systematic does not deals with the only the identification and classification okay b option is nomenclature and identification of plants and animals so this is also taken into taxonomy option a is also with respect to the taxonomy so option b is also incorrect when we talk about the option c it is written that diversity of kinds of organism and the relation means diversity and the relationship so which relationship that we have discussed evolutionary relationship so c option become the correct one and when we go to the d different kinds of organism and their classification so if we remain up to the classification it is a part of taxonomy when we establish the relationship then phylogeny comes into the picture and due to that it become a systematic so correct answer is option c next we move to the question number 19 question number 19 says that genus represent now dear student the given option are option a where it is given then an individual plant or animal an in individual plant or animal that cannot represent a genus that have a whole biological name or genus name and specific biological name should be there so it is incorrect when we talk about option b it is a collection of plants or animals collection of plants or animals that is a group that is cannot be called as a we if we collect a potato and tomato that cannot represent the same genus or uh, or we can consider a lion and cat they cannot represent a, a same genus so that can be become also wrong when we talk about the c option a group of closely related species of plants or animals yes it is about a close relation close related so the c option is a more appropriate and d is a none of this so it is becoming correct so correct option is c that genus represents the group of closely related species of plants and animals 
नेक्स्ट वी मूव टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाउ व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सफिक्सेस यूज्ड फॉर अ यूनिट्स ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन इन प्लांट्स इंडिकेट्स अ टेक्सोमिक कैटेगरी ऑफ फैमिली सो इट इज आस्किंग अबाउट अ सफिक्स now what suffix is used now here suffix are given a that is else you know that else suffix is used for the order like we can example use example polymonials so polymonials here a suffix used is else so and it is a correct uh, or else is used for order option b that is o n a e it is not used in any not used as a suffix in any classification option c a c a e it is used for the family like you know that example solanaceae here a c a e is used and if we take a d in d a is given a e used for a class so now the question is regarding to the suffix which is used for a family so for the family a c a e is used so option c is the correct answer for question 20 question number 21 in question number 21 it is asking about a taxonomic unit phylum in the classification of a animals is equivalent to which hierarchical level in classification of plant means taxonomic group phylum is used in animals and at same equivalence a term division is used for plants so division become the answer and the given option is c that is division so correct answer is option c next is question number 22 22 is asking about a correct correct sequence of taxa now you know that correct sequence of taxa if you have to remember you have to remember a one key that is keep pot clean or family get sick so if you remember here k stands for kingdom p stands for phylum or division c stands for class o stands for order f stands for family g stands for genus s stands for species so here this way a whole taxa stands so according to this the option a is correct that is given with respect to where a class order family tribe genus and species are used b remember tribe is used between family and genus next question number 23 here the question is about the species inhibiting different geographical area it is asking about a, a species inhibiting means it is asking about a species evolution or a speciation so if it asking about speciation speciation is a process where uh, after a certain period of time new species evolve so if new species is going to be evolved speciation is of a different type and first is a uh, allopatric now allopatric speciation occurs it is like that that one whole group of organism are living in a one area now due to the geographical isolation what happens it divide into two group and this two group will have a some of the particular groups now this will evolve into the another species named is a or it can be evolved as a b so two new species evolved due to the geographical isolation then it is known as allopatric now second is sympatric now 
sympatric speciation means if it is an area and here so many species uh, individuals of one species are there now what happens due to any uh, if we can say due to the any environmental perturbances some of few individuals of this species show a changes and they evolve as a new species so these are of that area only geographical isolation has not occurred initially initially what happens some of the genetic mutation happened within them and due to this they developed as a new species so this this and this so this, this is a new species supposed b and this is the old one suppose a so now in this way if two species get evolved it is known as sympatric species option 3 it is of the bio species you know that bio species are the biological species and option d it is a civil species so this two species which is evolved by the sympatric speciation they are known as what a uh, sibling species now the question is with respect to a geographical isolation uh, a geographical isolation and here also geographical isolation is occurring so the answer becomes option 1 next is question number 24 question number 24 asks that two plants can be conclusively said to belong to the same species if we have considered some plant in they conclusively said to be belong to the same species so same species can be defined only based on the reproductive isolation they can be considered only based on the reproduction isolation as say, as said by the ernst mayer who given a biological concept of species and said that reproductive isolation now reproductive isolation means two uh, means organism of two different species cannot give rise to the fertile offspring two different species organism cannot give rise to fertile offspring fertile offspring can be produced when there is a mating between the individual of the same species only so if we go with the option the option a says that can reproduce freely with each other and form a sets of this then they should be belong to the same species the option a is the correct answer question number 25 what is the keystone species it is asking about the keystone species keystone species is the species which have a major impact on the particular population and if we go through the option you can study option a it is says that a species which makes up for only a small proportion of a total biomass of a community yet has a huge impact small population and they have a huge impact so on the community organization and survival so these are the species which ultimately drives the whole population or whole particular community so this can be considered as a keystone species so option a is a correct one question number 26 here the question is label of herbarium should does not carry any information you know that herbarium is considered as a quick source of reference and in herbarium there are several several herbarium sheet are stored because it is a one type of storehouse of a dried and preserved and preserved sheets now when we you see a herbarium sheet its size is 41 by 29 cm square and if you take a, that particular sheet it has a size and here in right hand corner it has a label right hand lower side corner has a label now when we see this label the size of this label is 7 by 12 cm square now in this label seven things are included seven things are included the one is place of collection number 2 is date of collection number 3 is uh, botanical name number 4 is number 4 is question number 26 now 26 is saying that a label of herbarium sheet does not include you know that 
the herbarium sheet is placed in a right hand side lower corner of a herbarium sheet label label is placed in right hand side lower corner of a herbarium sheet and the size of label is 7 by 12 cm square now you know that this label includes seven things one is date of collection second the family name of a plant number three botanical name number four english name number five lo local name number six place of collection and number seven collector's name the particular plant specimen who have collected now you can see given option are date of collection yes it is there then name of collector obvious it is there local name it is there and the d option is given the height of the plant you can see that height of the plant is not included in the seven so the option d is not included in herbarium sheet so d become the answer next we move to the question number 27 27 is asking about the largest collection of herbarium in India is largest means it is asking about the largest herbarium now it is a fact based question and you have to remember the option A that is a central national herbarium Kolkata that is the correct answer next question number 28 botanical gardens and zoological parks have now be remember botanical garden and zoological park means zoos the given option are option a collection of endemic living species only means endemic means local endemic means local so it is saying that it is saying that endemic only means local only so it is incorrect by botanical garden do not have our zoological park do not have only local species option b it is asking about collection of exotic living species only. Exotic means from outside. Means it is also incorrect. They have a endemic as well. So it is incorrect. Option C is talking about collection of endemic and exotic living species both. So it is correct. Both endemic means local and exotic means from outside species are considered because both botanical and zoological park are the what? Nothing but they are the x to conservation strategies so option c become the correct one and last option d is there that is a collection of only local plants and animals so it is incorrect local means endemic only endemic are not included so c is the correct option next is question number 29 when we talk about question number 29 it is asking that taxonomic key taxonomic key is one of the taxonomic tools in the identification and classification of plants and you know obvious it is an identification tool it is used in preparation of so so it is an identification tool which is used in a preparation of monograph and flora so the correct answer become option c that is both a and b okay so you i hope you know that monograph consists of uh, information of only one tech zone and flora have a information like a habitat and distribution of a plants of a particular area this type of information this book store and these are the recorded description next question number 30 manual contain so if we talk about manual so it is also like monograph and flora another one recorded description that is a manual the given option R option A is talking that it has a habitat and distribution of animals in given area. So we have just discussed that habitat and distributor considered in fluoride. So it cannot be considered in manual. Next option B habitat and distribution of all the plants on earth. So it is also incorrect. Habitat and distribution comes under the flora. Option C identification of names of species. Yes, it is used in the naming in the identification of name. So option C become the correct one and option D habitat and distribution again of some of the useful animals of a given area then it also becomes a uh, incorrect so be remember it is used in naming and for naming this is used in a very well manner 